Hi, I'm Jenny Jewell, a retired emergency dispatcher. Welcome to Call Autopsy, where we listen to a 911 call and I help you break it down. This one comes from Des Moines, Iowa from 2014. It's a very brave gentleman in a very bad situation. Let's go ahead and give this a listen here. Yes, hi. Uh, I'm in the back of a trunk. My license number is... YTG or TT? Yeah. Which one? YTG. Okay, what do you mean? YTG. The trunk? Um, they threw me in the back of the trunk. Who? Um, it's um, Deb, um, Jordan, and then another guy. Uh, where I'm not sure where are you at? Is. Where were you when they put you in I the trunk? I don't know. Where were you when they put you in the trunk? Around 6th Avenue. We're at on 6th Avenue. Um, I'm not real sure. I need some kind of location so I can start officers in that area. Oh, well, it's got to be somewhere in the uh, 6th Avenue area. In the 6th Avenue area? Well, yeah. It's it's a black impala. A black impala? Black impala. So that's all that I have of that call. Let's go ahead and start breaking this one down. Very brave, very intense. Yeah. All right, so there's their answer up is just 911. Straightforward. Hi, 
Uh, I'm in the back of a trunk. So he's being super polite, which which is not unusual it, from older people. So don't let that set you off. And then, uh, so we're straight out getting the wear of the Golden 3 here. My license number is YTG or TT? Yeah. And I appreciate her clarifying because it makes a big difference. YTG. Okay, what do you mean? YTG. The um, they threw me in the back of the trunk. Who? Um, so we have a what. Now we're working on getting a who. It's, um, Deb, um, Jordan, and then another guy. I'm not sure where are you at? Is. Where were you when they put you in I the trunk? I don't know. Where were I'm you when they put you in the trunk? Yeah, so we're working on trying to get a more solid uh, wear in the Golden 3 because we have a what and we have a who, 100% here. At 30 seconds in. So she wants to get this rolling, and to get it rolling, they need an area. Around 6th Avenue. We're at on 6th Avenue. Oh, um, I'm not real sure. I need some kind of location so I can start officers in that area. Oh, well, it's got to be somewhere in the... Uh, Sixth Avenue area. In the Sixth Avenue area? Yeah. yeah. I like how she's mirroring him. So that that is going to connect that call receiver with the caller. It does a really good job. It's a black impala. A black impala? Black impala. All right, so we actually had most of our golden three at about uh, 38 seconds, and we are one minute in, and it's hitting the queue. So that's great timing on that. Who did this to you? Now we're in the additional. Who? No, I'm sorry. And the thing with this, this can become, luckily it wasn't because he did survive, but... This kind of call can become a dying declaration type of thing with the victim. And any evidence that you can get from the victim before anything bad or more worse happens. Deb Jordan? Yeah. Okay. We're, we're stopped right now. Can you? Is there a lever? Listen, listen. And most trunks. Yeah. Your car. I know there's a there lever. Is. There is. Okay, can you pull that lever? But they're in the car. Is the car stopped? Yes. I would pull that lever and take off running. All right, so legally you're not allowed to do that. Um, you can give them the option. Uh, well, technically you can still because she said, I would do that. So that's still technically in the gray zone with that. But to give someone instructions that will put them in harm's way, not a good idea. Uh, not normally anyway. But yeah. So I guess, yeah, we're kind of, we're kind of, we're kind of dancing on the edge of this one. Why not? Right here. Did, how long were you in the car? They keep in mind the car is no longer moving and it's it's stopped, so chances are it's a lot more quiet now. So you can understand where his fear is because they've stopped the car and now they're coming around the back. I have officers started for the area, okay. but I don't know. I can't say for sure that's where you're at. So, so this, I don't know if this is a quirk of Iowa. If you're from Iowa, let me know. But that, that vocal cadence over here would, would probably cause um, more anxiety than calming them down. But it seems to calm the caller down a bit. So I don't know if it's like a regional thing. So if you can like point me through that, would be great. It's a black what? A black I got that. Is your name Ronald? No. Yes. Okay.
That's wonderful. Thank you for confirming because we didn't have, you know, all of the victim's name. Who's Deb Jordan to you? Who is she to you? What? Who is Deb to you? So this helps with the case. So, and again, gathering evidence. So this is helpful for the arriving officers, but also uh, for the case. A friend? I can't hear you. Yeah, and that was most definitely the sound of trunk. And what I appreciate is, even though even though the victim is going through a lot right now, they're trying to encourage their um, captors to speak, which I think is great. Yeah, a little bit of a hard listen, but again, it's, you got to do that and just pick out what you hear. Hello? And again, really smart on this guy's part to try and get them to talk. Come on. Yeah, what a, he got beat pretty bad and had uh, lifelong damage. But yeah, really brave, really brave. So to uh, Mr. Karras's family, I don't care what they did before all this stuff happened, but the way that they handled the situation was outstanding. So he did a really good job. Uh, the call uh, receiver, really good job, got, got as much as they could to get it rolling in in under under 40 seconds so that was really good and they were rolling out in the area about a minute five or at least attempting to roll out in the area or where they think it is but he kept it together and uh really good job and just horrifying what what humans will do to each other um, but it's the reality of the job with that though guys uh thank you for listening please take care stay safe don't be naughty till next time bye bye